Hello everybody. Happy Friday. It's time for another Facebook Friday and today is a Christmas in July Facebook Friday. It is so weird to be doing Christmas when it is 105 outside. Well, it's not 105 yet, but it's going to be here. It's We've got serious heat and I know you guys do too up there, up in the north, but we're gonna pretend like it's Christmas because we've got some awesome Christmas dyes that are only available in July and August. So we have to make sure that you guys see them and get them before they're gone because I forgot, and I don't think I've mentioned this, but everything in this celebration catalog is while supplies last. Remember, hi guys, hi Anne-Marie. Um, remember last summer, the first time we had summer celebration, everything was while supplies last and I was really nervous about things selling out. Um, well, this year, and I, I don't know if I just forgot, didn't hear, whatever, but everything in this catalog is while supplies last too. So if I had to guess the most popular item, it would be these dies right here, which is what we're gonna be using today. So you wanna get them because when you do wanna make your Christmas cards in November, and if you wanna use these, they won't be available anymore. So you've gotta have them. Um, these dies, I'll talk more about them in a little while, but I don't think they're just for Christmas. I think that you could use these all year long, really. I mean, they're awesome. But let me show you a few things before we get started, okay? Um, I have a few cards that I got in the mail that I want to show you guys. Hello. Yes, I know it's hot here. It's hot there. It's hot everywhere. We've been hot for two months now. Really hot. We've had 28 days over 100 supposed to be 105 on Sunday and the older I get the more I hate it I do not deal well with it all right let me see I'm trying to get comments hello good okay good I see all of you all right I just want to show you a few cards that I got in the mail in the last couple of weeks this is from um patience um she is a downline of one of my good friends, Kay. They live in Arkansas and we spent a lot of time together when we were in Utah. And she sent me a funny thank you card, patience, hilarious what you wrote inside. I loved it. So, and it's beautiful too. So, um, that is that new celebration paper and stamp, I believe. You know, that, I haven't really looked at that bundle and I need to look at, cause it, I don't know, for some reason, because it's not holiday, it's not getting my attention which is weird because it's summer, but beautiful. I need to look closer at that. Okay, so then I have one from Mary Alice, I believe, yep, Mary Alice. Beautiful, another thank you card. You guys are so good at writing thank you cards. So good. I make a lot of thank you cards, but I don't send a lot of thank you cards. I'm not the best. Um, but I think it, I am very touched when you guys send thank you cards. So thank you. That's beautiful. That, that is a retired paper that I absolutely loved. Um, thank you, Mary Alice. Very nice. Um, this one is from Janice. Oh, and Janice used another thank you card. Um, Janice used some of my favorite paper of all time, that rainbow paper. Janice wrote me a lot of, a lot of sweet stuff. Janice, thank you very much. I love the inside too. You guys are so good. So good. All right, uh, this is from Terry. Oh, she knew gingham. And you know what? What I like, I do this too. Um, look how beautiful that is. And she wrote her message on a thing that I can take and throw away or whatever so that I can reuse the card. If you guys haven't ever done that, you can use just a post-it note to write your message on the inside so that the recipient can then reuse your card if they want to. I know a lot of times they don't want to, they wanna keep it. But Terry's very, very pretty. I love that gingham paper. Very nice, very nice. I'm just looking at all the details. Good coloring on that image. All right, the next one is from Lisa, who is my downline. Lisa, this was a fun little package to get. Um, she sent me a couple of things that are really, really cute. First of all, she used the, she used the rugged icon dies for this card and sent it to me. I love it. I, I love that. I need to use those those dies. Those are really, really cool dies if you guys haven't noticed it. She sent me this cute little matchbook and it's really cute. It's got little like, um, oh, like um, sprinkles, holiday sprinkles in it, I believe. Oh no, you know what that is? That's reindeer, reindeer food. So cute, reindeer food. You know what? That is, now I'm realizing it's the oatmeal and the sprinkles. 
you know, like holiday sprinkles. I'm going to hold on to that and we're going to make that because that is really cute. That's a great idea. She calls it reindeer bait. We call it reindeer food. Either way, you know, you can give it to kids. They could sprinkle it out on the porch on Christmas for the reindeer. And then this is my favorite. She made a bunch of these and I loved them so much. Thank you so much, Lisa, for sending me this card because I loved it. She did them in all different colors. Um, really, really cool. So thank you. So thoughtful. So thoughtful that you went out of your way to just mail me those things that I love. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Um, I'm just going to remind you of a few things. The all-star tutorial bundle is out this month. It's the awash in beauty. I just designed next month's next month's is the, he's the man. He's all that, you know, the masculine suite. And you guys are going to love the project for next month. I'm working ahead because I'm going to be gone week after next. Um, anyway, this is out. It is 12 tutorials, all featuring the Awash in Beauty suite from the annual catalog. They're all videos, and they were all done by different demonstrators. Mine is a little 3D box right here. And we did a blog hop yesterday, so if you go to my blog, today I tried to paste all of my information as I went live. I don't know, it doesn't look like it's, it is there. Why doesn't it do that? Hmm, I tried to paste it and then go live, but it didn't. Anyway, pinkbuckaroo.com is my blog. I will update with all the links at the top when I'm done. But anyway, you can find this there. It's $15 in my PDF store, or you get it free with a $50 order in July. Um, or in July only you can subscribe. And when you subscribe, you pay for five months and get the six month for free. That's really good for those of you that are demonstrators or you have a demonstrator and you don't want to order product from me. Totally fine. Um, if you subscribe, it's delivered to your mailbox every month on the first. Um, and you can look at yesterday's blog post and see all the different suites that we'll be using. Um, it is fun. And it, if you, you know what, I'm going to leave this out because I do need to mail those out. Um, if you've ordered in the last week, I haven't emailed them out yet, but I will do that today. Okay. Um, do I want to switch you guys around? Um, yeah, let me just switch you guys around real quick. Let's see. So I also want to tell you guys that Facebook has made a change. Well, why isn't it switching? Come on. There we go. Facebook, it hurt its name. It was like, what are you going to say about me? Facebook has made a change to groups. I go live in my group. And now they've made a change that it's very strange. Um, instead of approving people to join, which I liked because I was able to keep out those fake Facebook accounts. Now ev anybody can join, but you have to be approved to comment for the first time. So if you guys run into that, just know it's new and I will approve it when I see it. Um, if you've commented any time in the past, then you're fine, you won't have to fill that out. Who knows, it's always changing and I keep saying I'm gonna go to YouTube Live and I haven't done it, but it, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. Okay, so just <laughs> random weirdness. Um, so you guys know July and August is celebration celebration is where you get something for free every time you make a purchase uh, over $50. And it's also when you can get this extra bonus in the starter kit. The starter kit is $99. Um, you get $125 of any product you want from any of the current catalogs, um, the annual, the holiday catalog, or the clearance rack, not the celebration catalog, okay? $125 in product. Then they add this in, and it is so cute. Making plans, stamp set, three journals, and this beautiful planner, which my mom has already said she's like, please can I have it? She, she was like, oh, it's so beautiful. So look, it's if you like to use a planner or you think you need to get organized, this is a great resource. It's so beautiful and it's really big. Um, it's bigger than what I had thought it was gonna be. Um, so you'll get this for free as well. And it's $99 free shipping. The, all this, $125 in product of your choice. Then you're a demonstrator and you'll get your 20% discount on all your orders um, through the next through the end of the next quarter. Um, you'll join you'll be part of my team, which then you can join my team page, get my PDFs for free, get my class kits at a discount. 
Um, so if you're interested in that starter kit, you can read about it here at the back of the celebration catalog, or there's a join tab at the top of my blog has all the details there. If you have questions, reach out to me and I will be happy to answer them. The best way to get me, you guys, is emailing me over at my blog. There's a button where you can email me. Um, that That is the, the best way because I Facebook messages get lost. I don't, I'll see them pop up when I'm driving and then I forget. Um, so email, I, I have a routine where I check email three times a day. Um, so if you want to reach out to me, make sure you do it through email. Okay, I want to show you this kit. I showed you this kit before um, the catalog went live, but I wanted to remind you. It's called the Nourish and Flourish kit, and I believe it's right here at the beginning. No, yes. Yes, the very first page, page four. Well, I guess that's the second page of the holiday catalog. This is a beautiful kit. It comes in this adorable little lunch bag. It's insulated, but you don't have to use it for a lunch bag. I think it would be good for like a crop, you know, take your adhesive or whatever, your markers. Um, and then it has this kit with nine cards. And um, the it's like a fundraiser. So for every kit that's sold, they're going to donate $3 to support organizations working to end food security. So just wanted to point that out. Make sure you guys notice it. I know I flip real fast through the front of the catalog and sometimes you miss those things, but it's really, really cute. And just the bag alone is just, you know, worth it, worth the whole thing. Okay, I've got two things to show you. Class to go, my class to go. Yay, finally I have, a, I have had time to put a class to go together. Features the happier than happy, bundle, the little bear, fox, and owl. The class kit includes five cards and a mini album, which is so fun. If you did my whale of a time class a couple of summers ago, this book is very similar to that mini album. Um, that was so popular, I thought, let's do it again. Um, the class comes as a PDF. Um, there's no online meeting time. It's delivered to your mailbox and you do it whenever you want. I email you the PDF and within the PDF on the page where the mini album is, there's a link showing you how to put the mini album together. Um, so this class also includes a full pack of the 12 by 12 paper, two bolts of the ribbon, okay, all six projects. The price includes shipping. And if you buy option one, that's the option that includes the bundle, you'll get the ribbon for free and celebration item, okay? Um, there is a lot of detail that goes into this class. So if you're, you have questions, go over there and read it on my blog. Um, and then if you still have questions, please email me, let me know. Um, I can't list the registration link on social media or my blog. You have to send me an email requesting that link to register. Um, so if you want to register, you know, don't feel weird about clicking that link and just sending me an email and say, can I please have a registration link? Cause that's the only way we can do it. Also, I send it out to everybody who's a email subscriber to me. So if you're an email subscriber, you already got this last week in your inbox, the link to register. Okay, so that's that class. Option one, it comes with a bundle. Option two is for those of you that already have the bundle, it comes without the bundle. Option three is PDF only. That's in my PDF store, it's $15. It includes that little video link. Um, it is an immediate download. As soon as you buy it, it's e emailed to you and you have access to it. Um, if it doesn't show up, please email me because about 10% of them never show up. There's spam or something, and I will resend it to you. Um, and then the fourth option is for my downline. As I mentioned below or before, my team gets a discounted class kit. They get this class kit for $25. Um, so it's a perk, another perk of buying that starter kit. Okay? All right, so there is that. Um, my paper share and ribbon share close on Sunday. Here is all the new paper from the holiday catalog. You'll get some celebration paper in there, um, some of the host paper. Um, you can get it in six by six or six by 12. Um, email me for that registration link. Just send me an email. Again, guys, email is the best way to get a hold of me. Facebook messages I don't see um, for days usually. 
Um, send me an email. If you have questions about it, let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer them. I don't check email as frequently on the weekends, but this weekend I will try to since that deadline is on Sunday. Um, you'll get a little bit of all the new ribbons, I mean uh, papers, which helps you kind of decide which packs you actually want to buy. Um, and then also is the ribbon option, and I have that right here. It, you get nine yards of ribbon, all nine of the, of the ribbons in the holiday catalog, and it comes in this cute little box. Okay, so again, this is the last time I'll talk to you about it. Sunday is the deadline to sign up for that. They will not ship, you guys, until the first week of August because I'm going on vacation. So you'll have to be a little patient. Okay, I've got one more thing to show you. Here is Club Create for August. Now, Club Create registration is closed, but I am gonna open it again soon, before the end. I promise I will. I'm just trying to keep things from spiraling out of control. <laughs> I want to keep the numbers at numbers that I can manage. Um, so I want to show this to you. You can decide. I'll open it for probably about a week at the end of the month if you want to sign up. Um, club Create is my monthly subscription club. Every month you get um, five projects and about $20 in product. Um, you get a video and a PDF, and you have the option to add on uh, the bundle, uh, and you save shipping and tax when you do that. So July's deadline was yesterday, so that's done and gone, but that PDF is still available. The PDFs are always available in my PDF store forever. Um, this is the one that'll be for August. So if you, if you subscribe anytime for the rest of the month, July and August, this is the one that you'll get. Um, it is also includes a mini album. I'm on a mini album kick right now, and it's really, really a cute mini album. You're gonna get a lot of that paper, and that paper is just so cute. And so again, I think a mini album is a great way to showcase that paper. Um, so the class, I mean, the um, club kit will include four cards and a mini album. That PDF is already available in my PDF store. Uh, if you just want the PDF, you can go over there and find it. It should be an immediate download. As soon as you purchase it, it'll be emailed to you. And if you um, want to subscribe, be patient. I'll open it up soon, and I'll let you guys know during a Facebook Friday um, when the subscription is open for that. So Club Create people, I just wanted you to be able to see what you're getting in August um, so you can decide, um, you know, if you want to stay, if you want to go, whatever you want to do whatever you want to do. I hope you stay, but you know, I get it. Sometimes not everything appeals to everyone. Okay. My desk is clear. Let's, um, look at prizes and then let's get started stamping. Um, last week's winner is Carol Shackelford. Carol, I don't think I have your mailing address. Carol won the brand new Hello Harvest bundle. Thanks for sharing the video, Carol. I really do appreciate it. Um, this week's prize is he, the He's All That bundle. Um, if you'd like to be entered to win, all you have to do is share the video on Facebook or on YouTube. Leave a comment. Let me know that you shared it. And um, I will pick a winner next Friday. Okay. All right. If you have never joined me during Facebook Friday, again, I can't see comments. I wonder if it would be different on my computer. All right, let, let me get my computer and see if it's different because I really can't stand not being able to see your comments. Um, so if you've never joined us for Facebook Friday before, welcome. And to everybody who has, welcome as well. Um, I always pick a a product and then we make three projects with it. This week we are using actually two new products. Hold on, let me see if I can find this video and I can open it so I can see you guys. Um, there is a supply list, a P free PDF over on my blog. Am I gonna be able to see the, these comments on my computer? I should be able to. Oh yes, sweet, now I can see you guys, okay. So then I can close that. I don't know why it's not working on my iPad. Um, so this is free over on my blog. 
and it's under the last photo pinkbuckaroo.com is my blog i see sometimes in the comments you guys say you don't know how to find my blog um pinkbuckaroo.com if you google me i'll pop up um also i'll update the video when i'm done with that direct link but this is under the last photo it has all the supply list and the measurements as well as the things i just talked about um and it has the host code okay this is the right host code hopefully i updated the pdf correctly i had the wrong host code there for a while um if you like the projects and you would like for me to send them to you as make and takes for free next week i will do that with for anybody who puts in an online order between now and monday at midnight um, that your order has to be over $35 and it has to use the host code. If you don't use the host code, I think, oh, she didn't want the projects. Um, the only caveat to that is if your order is over $150, don't use the host code because then you're going to get free stamp and rewards, which is free products. And I will still send you the make it takes for free. Okay. All right. So this is what they look like when they come, by the way, you will need the stamps and the dies. I don't do any pre-stamping. I do send you a little thank you tag. Um, wow, that one is old. That's Valentine's. <laughs> that one's been in the cabinet for a while. Um, I need to put some of these out in the garage. Here's a current one. But anyway, they come and they have everything you need to make those projects. Um, except for the stamps and the ink, obviously, you'll need those and adhesive. Okay, we are ready. Let's talk about what we're using. So trees for sale is a stamp set in the new holiday catalog. It's on page 39. It's $22 by itself, just the stamp set, right? Well, over in the celebration catalog, which is this right here, only July and August, there are matching dies that go with this stamp set. They are right, well, I had it open, right here on page 12. And these dies are fantastic. Look how many dies are on here. And this is free with a $100 purchase. Some of the items in here are free with a $50 purchase and some are free with a $100 purchase. So um, these are a level two. So you have to spend $100 to get those for free, okay? All right, so that's where the products are. And we're gonna make two cards and a little treat box. I close the doors to my office. I have barn doors to my office that slide shut. And my dog is just standing outside. I can see him through the crack. And he's like, hello, mom, why are the doors closed? <laughs> it's Charlie. The other one, I think, the other two are upstairs with the girls. Okay, I'm, I'm out of sorts because of my computer. I need to put this, let's see, if I put it over here. Sorry for the reach. Can I see your comments? Yes. Okay. All right, so let's see. Did I miss anything important? Um, the stamp set that I designed, yeah, it's coming out in the spring, spring catalog. Yes, I know. It feels like forever. It's been, it'll be two years in January since I hit my million. It takes a while. It does. It takes a while. Okay, so the cutest thing in this whole, the whole thing is this camper. The camper is so stinking cute um there is no camp or stamp it's just dies so we're going to put this together um i'm going to show you how to put it together i'm like where are all my pieces they were hidden um i'm going to give you a few little tips on the camper okay we're also going to do some stamping with these trees and i need to get my grid paper because we're going to stamp off and if you're new to stamping you might not know what stamping off means um, it just means that you stamp off onto like scratch paper and then you stamp onto your white paper. I'm using garden green. When, what that does is it gives you a lighter shade because this is a two layer stamp. Now I'm gonna take this one and stamp it in full strength. You can see, I've used the same color, but you can see the, you know, the detail if we were to stamp full strength and full strength you're not going to see it very well so we stamped off and then stamped in full strength all right okay so that is that we are going to cut these out with the matching dies we're also going to cut out a bunch of little pieces now some of you are going to say i can already hear it 
This is a little too tedious for me, and I get it. It might be a little tedious, but to me, I like the little tedious pieces. They're, they're so cute. It's like um, a dollhouse. That's what I feel like. We're putting together a little dollhouse. Um, now I'm taking adhesive sheet. This is how they come, six by 12, and I just cut them apart as I go. Um, I'm gonna cut this down a little bit so I remember where the adhesive is. This will turn our um, pieces into stickers, okay? All right, let's see, did we need anything else? No, just those two. So I put adhesive sheet on the back of Real Red and Garden Green. Let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna see how much of this I can get on here at once. All right, so here are the dies. You know what, let's start these over here. And we're gonna do, see it's hard for me to find them, there's so many. The little banner, okay, and do, 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 the little bow right there. And then the wreath, garden green. And then we'll bring over our stamped trees and we're gonna, we've got a die for those. Okay, and then we've got a small, medium, and large tree. We're using the large and the medium. All right, then we're gonna cut this, this die is the um, top and bottom of the little trailer, the little camper, and it has some embossed edges on it, which gives it texture. This little tiny piece is the, or the curtains. I mean, hello, it's got curtains. And then this is pool party. And here is the full size of our camper, okay? Now, can I run this through without knocking off my trees? Well, Charlie just opened the door. <laughs> he just slid that door over. He's like, forget it, I'm coming in. You can't kick me out, mom. All right, let's see how we did. Everything is sticking. All right, so we've got our banner and our bow and our wreath and our trailer. I've used pool party because I love pool party and real red together for Christmas projects. I think they're just, that's just the cutest color combo. All right, now here are these pieces. Oh, look at my tree. It didn't cut out very well. Hmm. Well, should I restamp it? Uh, am I feeling lazy? No, let's restamp it. Let's restamp it. Why not? That, um, I miss my magnetic platform. I have, my magnetic platform has, start, has started coming apart. You guys know that the magnetic platform has been recalled. You're getting a refund if you bought one because this, the adhesive, I guess, just started peeling away. I don't know why we seem to have bad luck with the magnetic sheets, um, but I ordered some Gorilla Glue <laughs> and I am challenging my husband to see if he can fix it because I really love it and I want it I want it, I want to use it. So I'll let you guys know. If yours, if you have um, a magnetic sheet that's defective, don't throw it away yet. <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can fix it. I don't know why that die keeps slipping over. But you should have already gotten a refund and probably an email. I got an email. I think I got an email. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, whatever. This tree may just have to be wonky because it's taking too long. Has anybody attempted to fix their magnetic plate? Okay, that's way better. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, now you're going to need your take your pick tool. And if you have nails like me, you're gonna have trouble getting the adhesive off the back, but your take your pick tool is almost like a surgical tool. It will help you. Let's see if I can get that out. The reason I put adhesive sheets on those pieces is because they're so tiny and I am a mess with the glue 
And if I try to do glue on something that tiny, it's gonna be a disaster. So I probably could have done that with these pieces too. These would be, these would be good adhesive sheet pieces. Okay, so now the little tiny curtain, we're gonna put that on the back, but let's do all the front stuff first. Um, so to get the adhesive sheet off, I'm gonna take my, take your pick tool and just kind of scrape it and get it started. And then it's easy to peel like that. And then you've got a sticker. So we're gonna adhere that there. And then we'll do the same thing like this with the wreath and we'll put that around the door. Now imagine this adorable little camper, not Christmassy, like in a woodsy scene for like a birthday card. I mean, you could even use the trees, right? I mean, they're not Christmas trees. I, I really think that this set has year long appeal. Okay, so now there's the front. We're gonna take this curtain and we're gonna just put a little bit of glue right there. I'm gonna put glue there, there, and there. And maybe a little bit down here. And I'm gonna take this with my take your pick tool, which my putty is like, needs a, it needs me to throw it away and, and squeeze it, squeeze new putty out. All right, so there's the curtain. Now I'm gonna take a piece of vellum and sandwich all that in. All right, and that's what it looks like. I didn't like the windows just open. I felt like it needed something, so that's why I added the vellum. Okay, so that is the camper. Worth the little tedious work, in my opinion. So cute. All right, so now we're gonna stamp the sentiment in real red on the right side. Oh, Lisa, that's a great idea. Um, she said you could make it a 4th of July a card with the banner do red white and blue that would be so cute and then who asked me about my dogs and the fireworks you know um we um jennifer we we have three dogs and only one of them is scared of fireworks and honestly there weren't very many fireworks this year here in our neighborhood we are so dry i think people will probably i mean i'm guessing people were just being smart because there were a lot of fires. So we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have any problems this year and usually he's terrified. Um, this is also celebration paper. It's called the Silver and Gold DSP. Um, you get stripes and dots in both silver and gold and it's six by six. So I've cut that down. We're gonna mat it on um, Smoky Slate. And then we're gonna run this right here. Okay, and oh, you know what? I think I need new dimensionals. Let's see. Yeah, I'm down to the very end. Let me just open another pack. It's a good thing my adhesive drawer is right here. I knew yesterday when I made these videos that I was running out of dimensionals and I meant to get new ones. All right, let's start with, you know, let's do the camper first. I'm gonna put a dimensional just right there and right there, okay? Is that not straight? No, it is not. Let's see, can I fix it? There we go, okay. And we'll put that right there. And then we're gonna take our two trees, dimensionals, dimensionals, And we'll slide that one back there. And we'll slide that one kind of over to the side like that. And then we've got a basic white thick card base. Oh, Melinda, I would pay you to send me some rain. We are, we've had 5.11 inches of rain the entire year. And they said that this time last year we'd had over 20 inches. So it's a huge deficit. And, and we've, we have periods of drought, but this one just feels really, really 
bad. And they say that's why we're so hot, because of the drought. Okay, last but not least, some pool party ribbon. I know there's a drought all over the country. I think the whole Southwest region is having a drought. I love, I love rain <laughs> and not hot weather. <sighs> we always want what we don't have, right? Up north, you guys want warm. Down here, we want cool. All right, a little pool party sheer ribbon bow. And there you go. I mean, who doesn't love a pool party camper? You guys, you have to get these dies. You have to. I'm just saying, you have to. Okay, <laughs> hope you guys like that card. That's card number one. Let's go to card number two. Now, card number two doesn't use the camper. Oh, it felt like something was shaking. Um, and, but, it, whoop, whoop, there goes the, the mint macaron. Um, but there is a little, little bit of tediousness. Mm, maybe not quite as much tediousness as the last card. Let's see. Okay, so this this die set has um, this pole die right here, right? The stamp set also has the poles here that you could just stamp, but you know me, I want dimension. So we're gonna use adhesive, um, foam adhesive sheets to make this stick off the page, okay? And then look at those little strings of lights. I mean, could it be any cuter? I don't think so. All right, do I have, I do, I do. Look, I planned ahead. Let's clean these real quick. Actually, I don't think I needed to clean them. We're using the same color. Oh well. Okay, let's see. Now, I am using a little piece of DSP. Can you guys see it under there? That is the, what's it called, ringed? In love, hold on, I have my paper right here, it is called Rings of Love DSP. It is a celebration um, item as well. It is 12 by 12, and it coordinates with <sighs> Ringed with Nature, Rings with Nature in the um, holiday catalog. So we're using a little bit of that, and it has mint macaron in it. So we're gonna stamp these two trees in garden green, and then stamp the front one in mint macaron so that we coordinate. So I'm doing the same thing I did last time. Stamp off, and then stamp full strength. And then we'll close that little guy, and we'll open mint macaron. And we are gonna stamp off again, right there. And now full strength, this is the little tree all right, and then we'll do the lights in Memento. We're gonna do two strings of lights. One, two, and then the dog. I mean, come on, the dog is so cute. We'll put the dog right over here, soft suede. And then last we have the little tree stands. One, ooh, that one didn't stamp well. One, two, three. And Stampin' Up! was smart enough to know that we would need three tree stands. So they actually included three tree stand dies. So you can cut them all out at once. I thought that was pretty smart. All right, let's color our lights. I'm using real red. And daffodil delights. Um, that one goes there. Oh, that one goes there. And pool party. Carrying over that pool party. Okay, so now let's bring this over. And see if I can get all of this run through without messing it up. <laughs> I may use some tape because I'm, these trees, they slip. All right, so big, little, and small. Let's 
see I keep bumping them. Okay, and then we have the little dog. Oh, come on, little dog. Okay, then the string of lights. Now, the tree stand, like I said, has three. You get three of them. I'm just going to cut one out because I actually cut two others out earlier. I don't know why I didn't cut them all out, but... <laughs> okay. Everybody stay where you are. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. And let's see. I have a feeling my lights are off a little bit. Okay, all right. We did good. All right, we did good. We did good. My dog's a little off, but he's okay. All right, now we've got to cut out this other string of light. And while we do that, we're also going to cut out the poles. And I want to show you how I'm going to do that because you're going to actually be pretty surprised, I think. Um, so we only have one pole die. I guess they didn't think we needed more than one of those. <laughs> um, I'm going to take, I have a piece of soft suede, and I'm going to take a piece of foam adhesive sheet, of a, a foam adhesive sheet. I'm going to put that on the bottom like that, okay? This die is going to cut through both layers. It's really good. All right, let's see. Now I'm going to go through twice for good measure because it's extra thick. Our lights did good. Okay, we're good there. And then we've got one pole. See, and now it's like a, a, a thicker. Remember the thicker letters that we used to buy for scrapbooking? It's kind of like that. So you could do this, you know, with all kinds of dyes. All right, there we go. Ooh, I just peeled off the backing. All right, so now we've got all of our pieces. Let's put it all together. Um, the first time that I made this card, I put everything on the white piece and I didn't leave room for the sentiment. So you wanna put your sentiment on first. That way you know you know, how low to go with your other pieces. So it says, you light up the season. That's cute. All right. Now we'll, we'll put our poles on here. There's one and there's two. I just really love the foam adhesive sheets a lot. I um, actually used them the other day to make a shaker card. I cut the ring out of the foam adhesive sheet and it was like perfect i keep finding new ways to use it all right so we're going to put adhesive on two sides just a little bit and i'm kind of have it kind of go angled like that and then this one hi nathan and then this one like this, okay? Now we'll get dimensionals for all of our trees. One and two. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the tree stands on. All right, you know what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna, instead of using glue and waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna take a dimensional and stick that on like that, okay? Ha, huh. so much easier. All right, let's get another one down here. Stick that on with a dimensional. There we go. And then last but not least, we've got our mint macaron. Hi, Kareen. You're not late. It's okay, you can come anytime. All right, so let me put one up here and we'll put this tree in front like that. All right, now, little dog, we're gonna put, he didn't stamp very well, but I'm going with it. 
We're putting a little black dot for his nose and a little black dot for his eye. Well, whoa, he's got a big nose. <laughs> oh, well. Toasty Minnesota, Kathy. Oh, I know. Toasty everywhere. Toasty everywhere. Okay. So look, isn't that cute? No camper, but still very cute. I mean, I think so. Okay, now let's get our card base and put it all together. I have a real red card base and we're gonna stamp these little red snow balls all around the edge in real red. And really, you're only gonna see the very edge. So just, you know, don't don't think don't overthink it. You can turn your stamp every few times so that they're not all exactly the same. I also was thinking if you really had time and the inclination, you could do these in Versamark or white craft ink and emboss them with white embossing powder and that would be very cute. But I I'm going the easy route on this one. All right. My adhesive is right here. <laughs> Whoa, we've got to cling on. We don't want you there. All right, a little bit of Ringed with Love designer series paper. Plaid, you know I love it. All right, do I have linen thread here? Hmm, hold on just a second. I see you, Charlie. All right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got it. All right, I'm gonna just take this and wrap it around a couple of times. Tie that bow over on the left side. Um, you guys, if you ordered last week um, for Facebook Friday, those went out a day late this week because of 4th of July, I had to wait on an order, didn't come till Wednesday. So um, if you if you ordered, they went out just one day late, but they'll be there next week, hopefully. Okay, there we go. And then last but not least, we're gonna put this guy on with dimensionals. Like that. And there you have it. I mean, so cute. I can't get enough of this set. I, I'm, I love these dies so much, I'm a little like sad that they're celebration because that means they won't be available forever. And they're while well supplies last. So you guys, if you want them, don't wait. I don't know if they'll sell out. I, I don't know. Last year, we, we had pretty good luck with things selling out. I don't think anything sold out last year. But you just never know. Ooh, I don't like that crooked. <laughs> I look down and it's crooked. I don't like it. <sighs> okay, one more. One more project. And we're bringing back the camper. Because it is the star of the show. All right, we're going to make this cute little box. I actually have several of them already. And we're using the sentiment is, in, is from Ringed with Nature. This is... The stamp set from the holiday catalog that coordinates with that paper we just used from Celebration, okay? Um, I needed a different sentiment than what this set offered, so that's why we're using something different. Okay, this has a belly band. Carla was wondering what was inside. It's just the right size for a Ghirardelli. Two of them will fit in there, maybe three, all right? So that's what's in here. You guys, next week we're doing this little birthday pig. I think that's what it's called, the birthday pig stamp set. And I just ordered something so funny from Amazon um, for my 3D. Why, why is this doing this to me? There we go. So you gotta make sure to join me next week and see whether you like what I chose for our treat box or not. <laughs> I don't know. There was my mom was actually looking for some things for me too, and we found quite a few funny things to go with the pig. So that's next week. Okay, let me look at my notes. 
The measurements for this are right here at the bottom of this page, the second page. You need a piece of real red that is three and five eighths by seven and a fourth. We're gonna score the long side at two and a half, three and an eighth, five and five eighths, and six and a fourth. And then turn it and score at five eighths and at three. Now, my clean recording of this that's over on YouTube, my measurements were a little bit off. Um, so make sure that you use the measurements on the PDF. It just was a little, the front flap was a little bit too long. That was it. Okay, now we've got these two sections are the same. And then we've got the short section. So that's the top. Let's do the middle first. We're just gonna snip these right here. Okay, all you gotta do is snip, snip. Like that. Now over here, we're gonna cut off these two corners, corner rectangles, okay? Then with your scissors, don't go from the side, go from the top and snip those like that, okay? All right, now I have some designer series paper. Again, we've got that gold and silver DSP adhesives right here. And we're gonna put one of them right here and the other one right here. This one may be a little bit too big. Yeah, I need to cut it because that's where I changed my measurements. This needs, the measurements on the PDF are right. I just didn't fix my prepared pieces. All right, that's gonna go right there. Okay, so now grab your glue, put some glue on the outside of those middle tabs and fold them into the sides next to them like that, which is the back of the box. Um, Gail, yes. Okay, so I don't order anything chocolate from Amazon. So that gives you a hint that what we're using next week is not chocolate. Um, one time, one time, I mean, years ago, I did order something and it came on ice from Amazon. But I, I don't know. And I know my friend Rhonda has said the same thing up in Michigan. She's had that. So, okay, I didn't say what I did. I just folded that over and boop, squeezed it into the sides, okay? And that's what your box looks like. So yeah, I can't order, you know, I can't do chocolate for probably six months out of the year here because it'll melt. All right, I'm gonna use clothespins to hold that closed. Okay, now I have done a lot of die cutting ahead of time for this one because you guys already saw me cut it all out. This time we have a white camper and we have, again, we have a red um, banner. Oh wait, hold on. We've got, and so the last time I did a, a pool party camper and the white top and bottom, this time we're just doing the opposite. Okay. And you know, if you're looking for colors for your camper, um, just Google vintage campers. There's so many cute things out there. You'll get lots of good ideas. Okay. So now we can put on our red banner that had adhesive on the back. Now here's where I'm going to show you something that you might not want to do. Especially if you're making a bunch of these and that's totally okay but I just wanted to show you how I did it I cut the bottom of the camper from basic black and from silver foil okay we're gonna cut off that little trailer hitch from the silver and then we're gonna cut off the tire as well okay now I'm gonna adhere the silver right here Okay, and then you're gonna take your black piece and cut out just the, the tire part. And we're gonna glue that onto the silver piece. Actually, no, look, I was I planned ahead. I put adhesive sheet on the back. And we're gonna we're gonna peel that off. Where's my uh take your pick tool? Peel that off. and stick that on there. So now we have a silver hubcap 
and a black tire. Okay? Just in case you wanted to be real fancy. Now I'm gonna cut off just a little bit of this so that all I have to do is match it up right here. And we're gonna put that silver trailer hitch on there like that. And now you have an even fancier camper. All right, I have, whoa, got a little crazy with the glue. See, I cannot be trusted with liquid glue. All right, now I should have a piece of vellum. Here it is, right here. We're gonna stick that on the back. Okay. If your vellum sticks out like mine, just snip it. Okay, I gotta hold this. Let it dry for a second. <laughs> Let me see what you guys are saying. I wonder why I can see comments here, but not on my iPad. Karen, that's an adorable idea. She's like, I can't wait to make some kind of treat box with this for s'mores. That is so smart. Um, Cheryl, I think Ringed in Nature is going to be a club create, I think. I think. That's what I have it tentative, tentatively. Yeah, Nina, I left the curtain off. <laughs> I felt like the tire was so tedious that you, um, um, y'all might throw stones at me if I tried to throw in the curtain. <laughs> okay, so now, um, a two and a half inch craft circle okay and we'll put that there and it wouldn't be Facebook Friday without some fussy cutting right so we're gonna fussy cut <laughs> the sentiment real red basic white take your pencil draw your cutting guide with your pencil like this Go around, ooh, that, see, that was ugly. So I can erase that. Let me turn it this way and go around like that and up. So now it's gonna make it a whole lot easier for me to cut because I'm not just, you know, guessing where I'm cutting. I'm following the pencil line. Like that. And I have some pencil line right there, so we'll boop, boop, erase. <sighs> My children, and they're filling everything up with ice. So much noise. You know what? I'm gonna cut a little bit more of that because that looks like too much. There we go. Now, there we have it. Okay, so now, you put your candy in your box, close it up, I've got a piece of basic white. This is our belly band that's gonna slide off. We don't wanna adhere it to the box. We just wanna adhere it end over end. Okay, so just a little bit of adhesive on the end and adhere it like that. Okay, so it will slide like that. So that's how they, it holds it closed, but then they don't have to, you know, rip it open. Hopefully they don't rip it open although they might not realize what a belly band is, but <laughs> who knows? Who knows what will happen? All right, now the box is empty, which makes tying a bow not easy. It like flips around and, okay, come on, come on, come on. So I'm gonna take this pool party ribbon and tie it around the, the center of that belly band Like that. You're welcome, Jill. I learned that from another um, Stampin' Up! person too. That pencil trick really does make a huge difference. Okay, goodness gracious, I should have put something in that box. <laughs> it's so hard to tie, empty. All right, snip, snip. And last but not least, we're just gonna take 
for that little tag that we made, sandwich that ribbon on there like that, and set it down on your belly band. And there you have it. A cute little Ghirardelli box. And now I've got four ready to go. The candy that I had showed you is from like two Christmases ago. So I'll have to buy new candy when the candy comes out. I have a little candy drawer of candy that I use for projects. And I tell the kids, you don't want to eat that. It's very old. Okay, well, that's it today for today, you guys. So we made these two cards and the boxes or the box. Um, these are your make and takes. If you would like to earn them for free, all you have to do is put an online order by Monday at midnight. Um, make sure you use that host code if your order is under $150. Um, there was something I was going to tell you guys. What was it? I don't know. Um, new changes to the Facebook group. Just in case you guys didn't hear me at the beginning, the group no longer, I, I no longer approve who joins the group. I have to approve who comments on the group, in the group. So if you try to comment and it pops up and says, um, answer this question, that's just set up to hopefully avoid the trolls. And don't worry about it. It I will approve you if you're a person. <laughs> just a heads up. If you've commented before, you won't see that, I don't think. Um, I, you know, hopefully we don't have troll problems now that I don't have control over who's joining the group. Okay, you guys have a great weekend. Stay cool. Um, don't get out in that terrible heat. Hopefully you can find something nice and cool. And I'll be back next Friday um, with some little piggy projects. And then I'll be gone the following week on vacation, okay? All right. I will talk to you guys next week, all right? Thanks, everybody. Bye.